All right, folks. Today, we're going to cover magnets. A whole array of different kind of magnets. I've been getting tons of questions about magnet fishing. What kind of magnet should I get? What's the best kind of magnet? Hey, why don't you get a bigger magnet? You'll find more stuff. Well, I have an array of different kind of magnets here. Regular magnets and neodymium magnets. And there is a huge difference, trust me. So, let's go over, I'll show you the magnets, tell you a little bit about them, um, and we'll test them out and see what is best after all. All right, here we go. We have four magnets that can be used for magnet fishing. Now, let's start off with this one right here. This is the very first magnet that I ever bought for magnet fishing. Um, I spent about $20 on it, and it said it had, I think, a 150 pound pool, um, which I will show you doesn't always mean exactly what you think in a minute. Now, it has two separate magnets right here. Um, this is not a rare earth magnet. Um, this is just a regular old magnet. Um, so it's not one of the uh, super neodymium magnets. And this one right here is one that I found magnet fishing. My very first time out magnet fishing too. Um, it is very big. This is the largest magnet that I have. It is not a rare earth magnet either. Um, but it does the job. It does the job better than this one. Um, I believe this one was at around 150 pound pool rating as well. So big size difference there. Um, they both have the eyelets. All of these have the eyelets at the top which I highly recommend if you're going to be magnet fishing because you can just tie the rope right on it and you want to be very careful with these magnets too so they do not touch. Got them far enough apart here where we'll be all right. Um, but this one about the same pull rating. Um, this has two separate ones. This has uh, one big magnet on there but this is not a rare earth magnet. And over here we have a 250 pound pull rare earth magnet. Neodymium. Um, and I already cleaned off some of the iron but there is iron all over the place. These are very, very strong magnets. I'm keeping it far from the camera and far from the other magnets. But this is the smallest magnet that I have, and it is actually the second strongest magnet that I own. 250 pounds. It's the M8. 250 pound pool. And when they are talking about the 250 pound pool, that is on a flat, non-rusted surface. Um, so that's where that comes from. And last but not least, the 500 pound pool rare earth magnet, neodymium, right here. They're all the same for magnet fishing. And this one right here is the beast. This thing could pick up a whole heck of a lot. All right, and I have a few things here that we're gonna try to pick up. Let's show you them here. Nothing too crazy, but we'll start off. This is uh, something I found magnet fishing. A spoon weighs like a pound, right? We'll show you what a 150 pound magnet and a 250 pound and a 550 pound will be like with this. Rare earth or not. We'll do a flat piece of iron. Dug that up metal detecting. This is like pretty just has a little bit of rust on it, but we'll show you for a flat piece. This probably weighs about maybe five, ten pounds. Oh, a big old heavy axe head. This is very rusted, and stuff in the water gets very rusted. It's covered in muck, and it can be very hard to pick stuff up when it is covered in muck and rusted and not completely flat. So let's get set up, and we'll show you. Okay, we'll start off with the spoon. It is stainless steel. Um, the kind of stainless steel that is magnetic. There's a bunch of different kinds. We'll start with the 150 pound pool magnet. Little guy, not a rare earth magnet. Picks it up. Picks it up pretty good, but not hard at all to pull off. And I bet 
we shake it, <gasps> it's gone. Imagine pulling that through the weeds. It gets caught up, oh, you lose your item. These 150 pounds, but it has problem holding on to a little one pound spoon. The placement of the magnets and everything just does not hold up, not very strong at all. Now let's do the spoon with the big flat one. Just about the same pull rating. Much better. Again, pretty easy to pull off, but you shake it, it doesn't come off. The tiny magnet, real tiny, rare earth magnet, shoots up there. Oh, that thing is not coming off. And it's a little bit harder to pull off there. And you have to be careful with these magnets too, because they're a little brittle. Um, so you don't want to slam it onto something very big. And the big boy, rare earth magnet. Oh yeah. Ah, that's hard to get off there. Could even bend the spoon. You want to not get your fingers in between it. Ah, yes, no question at all about that one. These two don't hold up for the test. Well, this one a little bit better than that one, but this one can barely hang on to a spoon. Imagine water and muck and all this vegetation under the water. The big old flat piece of iron. A little magnet, 150 pound pull. Oh, it can barely pick it up. Turn it sideways, it holds on there a little bit, but you move it at all, it's gone. And you get it on an end, won't even pick it up. Get it on the corner, won't pick it up. So, this one, I mean, this thing's like five, 10 pounds. A little bit rusted, but not that much. It'll only pick it up right on the flat, and if you move it at all, it falls off. 150 pound, big flat one. Shoots right on there. You shake it, it comes off. Again. You shake it, it comes off. Let's see how it does on the side here. At least it picks it up. Pretty easy to fall off though. Now, the little guy, 250 pounds. Gotta be careful putting it on there though. That thing is not coming off unless you get it stuck in something very hard. Oh, I can't even barely pull it off. <clears throat> See? Cannot even pull it off. I'm going to need to put my foot on it to get it off here. <clears throat> yeah. This little guy is causing that much problem and it's rusted to get off. So, that just does to show the size of the magnet does not matter at all. Okay, now that we got that off, the big boy. We know there's going to be no trouble with this, so I'll put it on the side here so it'll be easier to get off. Not at all coming off, and we only got a third of it on there. Not at all. Any problem, it'll be easier to get off this way. Ah, there we go. Very, very, very strong magnets. If you get your hand in between, between something like that, and that magnet goes on there, forget about it. Your fingers are gonna be hating life. And now, for the ax. Pretty rusted, it's got bits of wood and stuff stuck to it. It was in the ground for probably 100 years. But let's see how it goes. Weighs probably five, 10 pounds. The little guy, 150 pound, between 100 and 150 pound pool. <gasps> Check that out. 
won't even pick up we'll go on the high side 10 pound axe 5 pound axe won't pick it up not at all not a rare earth magnet this guy not a rare earth magnet either but it's flat and it's big it picks it up it's pulling bits of wood off but if you're dragging it along oh or you get it on the corner and you're dragging it that's gonna come right off you see how hard it was for me to pull that uh, little magnet off of here let's go to the little one little rare earth neodymium magnet no problem at all with this axe you're dragging it along it's not gonna come off we'll even try to force it oh it did that time it did 250 pounds rare earth magnet came off with force on a rusted object but even on the top there still having a rough time Ugh. okay last but not least the big boy 500 pounds oh you hear that this thing not a chance it's gonna come off by pulling it like that or by getting stuck on anything in the water I'll probably have a pretty tough time getting it off of here just like this there we go there we go that's all three tests so I hope this video today helped you decide what kind of magnet you wanted to get um, now this is one you can buy at pretty much any hardware store for like twenty dollars it's not a rare earth magnet it's mainly for picking up like nuts and bolts um, that you drop at when you're building a house for construction workers and such um, that's at least what it was like promoted for um, the other one I have no idea where they got it um, but it was most obviously for magnet fishing I found it in the water in an area that people magnet fish quite a bit um, but there was no rope attached to it so I think they just chucked it in um, pretty upset about the results a little guy here um, I got on Amazon I think for about $30 um, rare earth magnet it is extremely powerful for the size of this thing you do not want to get your hand in between anything or especially your fingers in between anything flat powerful metal not a chance and for the big boy uh, this thing was sent to me by uh, brute magnetics I believe they sell it for I believe like $45 or so um, or $55 somewhere around that range which is pretty pretty good deal um, this is the 500 pound pool magnets and again they do the range of the pools here on um, a flat surface a flat non rusted surface how much it can pick up uh, straight up so hopefully that helps you judge what kind of magnet you would like to get and again I recommend the eyelets on these which is this part here that you can tie a rope through because if not you'll have to try to they come with a hole in them not with the eyelets already but you'll have to like sand down the end of a bolt to get it in there um, I just recommend getting them with the eyelets the screw you put it in there screw it together you're good to go alright folks Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you with your questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next. Bye for now.